It's time for this week's calorie crush. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's calorie crush video. Welcome to me in yet another one of those t-shirts from Shein. I think I've got four now in different colours, so you're gonna get, kind of get used to seeing me in them. I really like them, they're comfy. I got back on the wagon this week. I got back on the wagon Monday. I was on the wagon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I was so well behaved. And also, I was finding it easy. Friday, things went wrong. So, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, I was firing on all cylinders. I really, really wanted to get things sorted out. I wanted to get back back on track and I knew that Saturday was going to be Natalie's birthday so I was a bit like mm, Saturday might be dodgy but if I can be really really good up until then that'll give me a bit of leeway for Saturday and so my food diary I was under calories for Monday Tuesday and Wednesday by quite a chunk Thursday I was over by a tiny amount 68 calories over Friday I got up Friday morning had a good breakfast no problem I think I had waffles and banana possibly possibly and then Friday lunchtime, I was out with Anthony shopping. We were getting bits for Nat's birthday, wrapping paper and card and some stuff like that, a couple of little extra bits for her to unwrap. And we said we'd go for lunch and we decided we'd go to McDonald's. And that was fine. My McDonald's would have been within my calories, that would have been okay. Until tea time, when Natalie then said, Can we go to McDonald's for tea? And what I should have done is gone, Yeah, we can, but I don't need to have it, you have it. But instead I went, yeah, okay. So I had McDonald's twice in one day. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That's not good food. We know that's not good food. And I was over calories for Friday. In fact, I stopped tracking. You'll see that there's no food diary for Friday because I do that thing where if I know I'm misbehaving, I just stop recording it. As if not recording it makes it not happen. <laughs> and then Saturday morning, it was Natalie's birthday. And I said, so what do you want to do for McDonald's breakfast? So we went to McDonald's for breakfast. I had McDonald's three times in the space of about 18 hours. This is not recommended on any diet plan apart from the perhaps do you want to die young diet plan, which was not the one I was supposed to be following. And then Saturday lunchtime, well that means that Saturday morning breakfast, that was about half past ten. We didn't eat anything until about half past three when we had some chips on the pier at Weston. And then we went out for dinner Saturday night to Bella Italia and we didn't eat until fairly late and I over it then as well. So Saturday was a bad, bad calorie day, probably about three and a half thousand calories instead of the two thousand I'm supposed to stick to. But again, I didn't do a proper food diary Saturday. I did get back on Sunday and I did behave Sunday and we were okay Sunday. And overall, overall I thought I probably wasn't too bad. It was time of the month this week, which means that last week was the run up to the time of the month and then like that explains some what, why I was so bloated. I was very, very bloated, like a bloody egg last week. So that'll explain some of the bloating, etc, etc. I had excuse me for the TMI if you're not interested in women's monthly cycles then skip this bit but I had almost stopped all of that and then going on the HRT has re-triggered some of it so some of the hormonal surges the actual time of the month thing and the bloating pattern some of those have come back due to the HRT but the benefits of the HRT outweigh them so it's still worth being worth being on it for me even though that is a drawback but yeah so then this week that we've just done was time of the month and so some of the bloating went away and I have peed for England if 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 there was an Olympic sport in peeing, I would be gold. I, I would I would be gold, and and I would outstrip the rest this week, to the point where I'm like, oh god, I'm going to start taking out shares in a toilet roll company because this is mental. What that does mean is that my body has got rid of a lot of fluids. My leg has gone down slightly. One of my legs is still very swollen, but the other one's gone down slightly, and I'm feeling less sluggish overall because, of course, while I'm very fluid filled, I feel very sluggish and bloated and whoa. Let's pop the food diary in here. You can have a look at what I've eaten and then I'll jump on the scales and we'll see how I got on this week. It is another Monday and another fresh start and this is Asda Coconut Porridge with strawberries and chock shot for 266 calories. Lunch is uh, Japanese noodles. I've added a bag of veg, some frozen onion, some grated carrot that needed to use up in the fridge and three sliced up Richmond skinless sausages and I'll put the calories on the screen. For my evening meal at work, I had a Subway turkey breast and a ham salad for 427 calories. I then had a Skinny Crunch salted caramel bar for 65 calories. And at some point during my shift, I also had Litchfield's two chocolate chip cookies for 158 calories. Total for Monday, 1,524 calories. 
on Tuesday I didn't have breakfast so my first meal of the day was a carvery which we went out for at lunchtime. I've got pork and beef on there with various different veg and my total for that came to 1181 including my dessert which was apple pie with ice cream. The next thing I ate was a bingo that evening which was fish cake chips and beans for 375 calories and I had a small Twix salted caramel bar for 226 calories and some Cadbury's buttons when I got home for 60 calories, just a treat size bag. Total for Tuesday, 1,842 calories. On Wednesday I had a really late breakfast. This was nearly 11 o'clock and I had scrambled eggs and mushrooms on granary toast at a cafe. This came in at 593 calories. I don't know what meal we're calling this because it's 4 o'clock and I haven't eaten since breakfast time. So it's kind of a very late lunch, very early dinner and there might be some more food later. It is a folded flatbread from Aldi I think, maybe somewhere else with chicken, peppers and onions fried up with a little bit of um, paprika and garlic powder and then 10 grams of grated cheese melted on top, some mayo on the wrap and for my dessert I've made myself a layered dessert which is a protein chocolate pudding with strawberries, meringue bits and some squirty cream. I will put the calories for all of it on the screen. Now because I'd taken such weird timings on my meals, I only really had snacks for dinner. I had barbecue snacker jacks, those were 78 calories. Popcorn was 63 calories. I had a skinny bar for 66 calories, a pink lady apple for 56 calories and two lotus biscoff biscuits not shown here for 121 calories. I am finishing the day with a Freddo for 95 calories and a large banana, probably about 100 calories. I'll put the exact calories on the screen for the banana. Good night. Total for Wednesday, 1,666 calories. Thursday breakfast was two poached eggs on toast with mushrooms, 433 calories for that. For lunch, we went to Weatherspoons and I had the pasta alfredo with an added chicken breast, which comes in at around 800 calories. And then for the dessert, I had what they call cookie crunch with vanilla ice cream. This was 344 calories and is essentially one scoop of melted ice cream with a broken biscuit on top. My evening meal, I bought a Tesco Simple Side Salad with dressing, which is 139 pounds, 139 pounds? It's not. 139 calories for the entire pack. And a packet of wafer thin honey roast ham, which is 136 calories. This was surprisingly delicious. So much so that I had it again a few days later. And then during the rest of my shift, I had a Hartley's jelly for four calories, a Milka chocolate bar for 126 calories, and a banana for 81 calories. Total calories for Thursday, 2,068. Sunday morning breakfast was 604 calories. During the afternoon, I accidentally ate four small Twix bars. Four, not four fingers, four two-finger Twix bars um, for multi-pack. That came at 790 calories, which left me a bit short of calories for dinner. But luckily, I had this delicious wafer ham salad again, which is only just under 280 calories, meaning I still had enough calories left for 106 for melon and pineapple and 99 for a protein pudding. Finishing that day on 1,874 calories. Three thirteen and a half. So I don't know if I said at the beginning of this that I'm recording this on Tuesday. It's actually Tuesday lunchtime now. I'm very, very late recording this. It will still go up today, but I'm really late recording this just due to other things that have got in the way over the last couple of days. Um, but yes, it's Tuesday lunchtime and those are the scales results from this morning because it was Tuesday last week when I got on the scales. So um, I would like, I'll probably get back to weighing on a Monday given the chance. But at the moment, that's a Tuesday result and that's four pounds off. Four pounds off this week. I'm very, very happy with that, especially considering the fact that I had those two days when I really wasn't well behaved at all. I think I must have compensated for them by how well I'd done on the other days. So pleased with that and very, very pleased with the four pound loss this week. And again, a lot of it will be because I, I know I've passed a lot of fluid because I've experienced me doing it. So a lot of that will be some of the fluid that's left my body will have accounted for some of that weight loss as well. But I'm really pleased with four pounds. I think that's... Um, that's that's a good result and that will stand me in good stead for a good start next week i do want to continue getting on the scales most days because apparently there's construction happening in my back garden because because that really does help me if i get on the scales it helps me to to stay motivated even the tiniest drop helps me keep going and the tiniest gain does actually help me want to get it back off so when i don't get on the scales then i don't do so well so we're going to stick with that 
I'm still finding my way around this 12 week NHS digital program and I haven't found much on there yet that's seemed to be of, of much use at the moment all I seem to have discovered is it is an online food diary well I already, I already have NutriCheck on my phone and I already keep a food diary as you know so I don't seem to be gaining much from it yet but perhaps there's more to it that I haven't yet managed to unpick I think there's um, counselling sessions on there that I need to find out what I need to do to, to engage in those and so on and so forth the weather's calmed down which means again I should retain a little bit less fluid now it's not quite so hot I haven't got anything exciting this week I've got two weeks this week and next week until my holiday it's not that I have a target in mind to lose weight before my holiday but it'll be interesting to see whether I gain on holiday I as I've said this before when I've made videos I actually eat less on holiday as a general rule people expect to gain weight when they go on holiday but I usually don't experience that too badly on a cruise on a cruise I eat more because it's all there but on an ordinary holiday I eat less because we're busy we're doing stuff and I'm not snacking between meals and I'm not opening the fridge door to see what's inside and I'm not sitting there thinking oh I'm going to go and borrow chocolate I don't do that on holiday because it's hot especially if we're going to Turkey in a hot country I especially don't go and grab bars of chocolate overseas chocolate isn't the same as ours anyway and who wants a bar of chocolate when it's 40 degrees in the shade so I, I actually I consume less on holiday than I do at home so I don't feel too bad about that holiday itself I'm not really looking forward to the whole plane seat thing because although I'm lighter than I used to be I'm also heavier than I used to be than what I got down to so I was very very pleased the last time we went to Mallorca I think it was and I got on the plane and didn't have to have an extension for the seatbelt and I've got a feeling we might be back in extension territory now so that's something to not really look forward to but it's very unlikely that I could get three stone off in the next fortnight and get back down to not needing an extension so we won't think about it we'll just keep on keeping on um, just a quick one because I really do want to get this up today so I'm going to say goodbye um, since it's already Tuesday, Tuesday lunch so I want to get this up this afternoon so I'm going to say goodbye now thank you for joining me thank you for your words of support as always I don't think I missed saying anything last week but again I, I talked last week about the fact that these counselling sessions will want to unpack some of the past and some of you were quite open about stuff that you felt whether you'd gained or not gained from counselling and so on and so forth so that was useful thank you thank you to everyone who commented on that with your own experiences and your thoughts and I will plod on for another week and we'll see how much of me there is next week take care bye for now